you know, one of the sectors that's been beaten down and beaten down very significantly is the real estate sector with the home loan rates at multi-year lows, uh, uh, as well as governments moving on things like stamp duty cuts, etc. Uh, how confident do you feel of a revival? What are your channel checks telling you in terms of where we could possibly be on the cusp of revival as far as the, the housing sector is concerned? Well, as far as uh, uh, we in State Bank of India were looking at uh, a very robust demand when it comes to our mortgage loans, uh, we have seen an increase of about 20% increase in sanctions on a YOY basis as on September September 20. And even the disbursements also, there's always a lag between the sanction and the disbursement. Even the disbursements also went up by about 12%. So that's a very clear reflection that uh, there is a demand. Uh, and also it will be, it may not be consistent across the country. It may be high in certain pockets, low in certain others. But yes, of course, at the, at the aggregate level, this is the kind of attraction which you have seen. So I think uh, uh, there is a lot of capacity which is available in the real estate sector. And uh, in certain affordable housing, I would say that there, there is a significant demand uh, across the country. Yeah. Maybe in uh, the, uh, the deluxe ones, maybe the demand may not be as strong. But yes, of course, and in, in the affordable, there's a there's definitely a demand. So to that extent, I think this sector is uh, offering some kind of a promise going forward. So can you quantify what this promise means? Uh, uh, you said that in the affordable housing segment, you are seeing a significant pickup year on year. Uh, you know, any estimates on what that uh, could mean? I would uh, say that you know we are somewhere around. Uh, at State Bank of India, our book size is about 4,75,000 crore and we expect that uh, we'll have, uh, we'll see a decent growth in this and uh, by the end of the year, we'll certainly cross 5 lakh crore in this particular segment. Okay, that's a, a important to note. Uh, let me also ask you about where you see interest rates headed. Uh, is there room for the Reserve Bank, the MPC, to cut rates further given where inflation is? And if that were to happen, is there room for banks like yours to be able to pass that on any further to customers? I think we at State Bank of India passed on whatever reductions had already happened in the policy rates. And uh, also when it comes to Reserve Bank of India, the way things are, the inflation print which is seen is somewhere around 7%. I think the stance will continue to be accommodative. They may not be in a position to cut the interest rates in the immediate future. Having said that, I would also like to mention that inflation is essentially what we have seen is, to my mind is essentially because of the supply constraints and which are actually attributed to the lockdown situation which you have seen in the economy. Mm -hmm. Once uh, we are in a position to unlock and once, you know, uh, the supply chains are balanced for uh, various corporates, perhaps we may not have such kind of a pressure when it comes to inflation. And maybe that will be a point of time when probably RBI will also look at uh, the interest rate uh, apart from pursuing the accommodative stance which they are doing right now.